25 Reasons Why Everyone Loved Queen Elizabeth II. After King George VI died in his sleep in the year 1952, his daughter Princess Elizabeth II took the throne and became the Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The masses grew to love and adore her for a good number of reasons, some of which include Number 1. She was almost always smiling. Queen Elizabeth was almost always wearing a smile on her face. During meetings, outings, speeches, or when spending time with her family, although she was quite formal and enforced the royal family rules and protocols, her smile endeared her to her subjects. The Queen did seem to smile more when she was with the country's citizens. She was a good ruler who knew how much of an impact something as simple as a smile could have. She was even seen smiling as she stood by a roaring fire in the final solo photo taken before her passing. Number 2. Her Colorful Choice of Clothing The Queen's been photographed wearing almost every color under the sun. As Queen, she had to stick out in a crowd. Her wardrobe consisted of many brightly colored clothes with matching hats in order for her to easily be spotted. There are many rules on how the royal family should dress, and while Queen Elizabeth was known to break royal protocol from time to time, she did her best to adhere religiously to the royal dress code. Despite her preference for colorful clothes, she always had a spare black outfit with her wherever she went. Number 3. Her Love for Corgis Queen Elizabeth's love of corgis dated all the way back to her childhood. The dog breed was synonymous with the royal, and her relationship with her dogs preceded her coronation and even her marriage to Prince Philip. In fact, the Queen loved Corgi so much that she and her sister created their own hybrid breed called the Dorgi, which is a cross between a Dachshund and a Corgi. The Queen personally engineered the breed for 12 to 14 generations and stopped breeding them in 2015, as she didn't want any to remain in the event of her death. Number 4. Her Sense of Humor Queen Elizabeth II was the longest-serving monarch in the world. Her secret? a world-renowned sense of humor and the ability to poke fun at herself. In her first appearance after contracting COVID, the British media praised her ability to appear calm, collected, strong, and always smiling, even in times of suffering. It's been said that her ability to laugh things off was an important coping mechanism for her, one that opposed her very coordinated public life, where she often had to remain straight-faced. Number 5. Her love for her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Queen Elizabeth II and her late husband, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, had four children. She also had eight grandchildren and 12 great-grandchildren. The Queen was quite formal with her children because she was very focused on her job at the time, but that changed when her grandchildren came along. Peter Phillips was the Queen's first grandchild, born to Princess Anne in 1977 and the only royal grandchild to own a corgi. After Diana's death in 1997, Queen Elizabeth took responsibility for Princes William and Harry and worked hard to convince the media that the boys would be off limits until they'd completed their full-time education, something that had been denied to previous modern royals. Number 6. Her Exceptional Sense of Duty Queen Elizabeth II always had a strong sense of duty and was determined to dedicate her life to the throne and her people. She put her work before all else, and it was obvious to many as tributes have come pouring in after her death. Regardless of what was happening in the Queen's private life, she could always be looked to for strength and consistency. Number 7. Her Reserved Attitude Even with her extremely public position as Queen, Queen Elizabeth II was a very reserved person, who generally kept to herself. There are royal rules for almost everything, and there was no social media when the Queen was younger which made it much easier to keep her private life private. That being said, there are quite a few viral memes and videos circulating of the Queen, none of which have been officially royal approved. Number 8. Her image as a pop culture figure The Queen was the longest-serving monarch in the world. The infamy that comes with that fact alone is enough to make her a household name in every country in the world. Her face is on countless plates, teacups, and other memorabilia, the royal family has always tried to head controversy off at the pass, but that didn't stop production of the Netflix series called The Crown, which showed some of the traditions and burdens the monarchs have faced in the past, as well as some of the drama. While not every episode is 100% accurate, the show still paints a not-as-perfect-as-they'd-like-us-to-believe picture of the royal family. Number 9. Her Unshakable Character 
No matter what was thrown at Queen Elizabeth II during her reign, she endured and prevailed. Her rule began at 25, almost immediately after her father died. She has been referred to as a beacon of strength in the face of adversity. Most recently, after losing her husband in 2021 when he was 99 years old, and after contracting COVID-19, she still managed to appear in good spirits in her first public appearance post-COVID and maintained composure regardless of what was thrown at her during her reign. Number 10. She still preferred to drive her car. Earlier, we mentioned that while the queen was extremely formal and rarely broke royal protocols, there were times when she did. Driving was one of those exceptions. Royal rules dictate that Her Majesty must be chauffeured wherever she goes. But in 2016, she was photographed behind the wheel of a green Range Rover with Kate Middleton's mother, Carol Middleton, in the passenger seat. Number 11. Her relationship with her husband. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was the husband of Queen Elizabeth II. He died in the year 2021 when he was 99 years old. The queen wore her crown for 70 years, but wore her wedding ring even longer. She and Prince Philip married when she was just 21 years old, and she took the throne at 25. At the time of Prince Philip's death, the two had been together for 74 years, marking one of the longest royal romances in the world. Number 12. Her love for her job. The public pressure alone is an enormous weight Queen Elizabeth II bore as the ruler of the British monarchy. She was required to attend countless speaking engagements, parties, social engagements, and international mediation, all while keeping up a pristine public image. The Queen took her role very seriously from the time she took the crown until her death. Number 13. Her Adaptation to the Modern World Although she was born before modern technology, Queen Elizabeth II has done a great job keeping up with it. While the Queen did have social media, she did not use it on her own. She would, however, from time to time, post personal messages on Instagram and Twitter. While she didn't do her own posts, she did carry around a Samsung device, which had a built-in anti-hacker system installed by MI6. Number 14. She was the only royal a lot of people knew. Once again, her 70-year reign comes into play. For many of us, Queen Elizabeth II was the only queen we've ever known. It's no secret that she endured many challenges over the course of her time on the throne. Each of these experiences helped shape her as the compassionate and kind leader people grew to love. Number 15. Her Personality As we mentioned earlier, the Queen was known for her calm and composed public presence. It was her job to perform her duties regardless of what they were and what was going on in her personal life. The Queen was only human and known to break from time to time. One such occasion was when she visited the survivors of the 1966 Aberfin mine disaster that killed 144 people, most of them children. Number 16. Her relationship with the public. Queen Elizabeth II took her duties very seriously, and one of the most important aspects of her job was interacting with the general public. She had been known to engage with the general public at events and had even been seen chatting up a few of the royal guards while they stood at attention. Number 17. Her love for horses. The Queen's love of corgis was no secret, but her adoration of horses might be less known. She's been quoted saying, I enjoy breeding a horse that's faster than other people's. Queen Elizabeth II bonded with her daughter over their mutual love of the four-legged animals. In 2021, she was forced to quit riding due to mobility issues, but back in June of this year, it was reported that she did indeed get back on her horse which at 96 was pretty remarkable. Number 18. Her love for knowledge Queen Elizabeth II may have been the ruler of the British monarchy, but her job entailed interacting with leaders from all across the world. Therefore, it's no surprise that while it was expected for her to have a flawless grasp of the English language, specifically the British received pronunciation, which is the proper term to describe the regionally neutral accent used by many middle to upper class speakers in the UK, she was also fluent in French. Number 19. Her desire for public service. Queen Elizabeth II always felt a strong connection to the British people. She gave her first ever radio broadcast at just 14 years old. She and her sister, Princess Margaret, addressed the children of Britain and the Commonwealth during World War II. She was asked to give the speech by Prime Minister Winston Churchill to help boost morale for the younger generation many of whom had been separated from their families to keep them safe. 
She also joined the Military Women's Department in 1945, where she worked her way up from a second subaltern to the rank of junior commander. Number 20. Her Role in Politics As Queen of the British Monarchy, it's no surprise she played quite a major role in how the country was run. The Queen has the ability to open and dissolve parliaments and approve bills before they become law. That being said, the royal family is expected to remain politically neutral, and she did her best to maintain neutrality through her 70-year reign. She had the ultimate power of being able to dismiss a prime minister, as the ruling monarch holds ultimate power in the UK. Number 21. She supported charity. The Queen was a patron of more than 600 charities in the UK. All senior members of the British royal family are patrons of charities, and their support consists of promoting the charity by visiting the organization or hosting events to raise funds. The Queen's favorite charities were those involved in community and civic issues, which consisted of 14% of her charitable portfolio, with education and training causes following a close second. Number 22. Her Journeys to Numerous Countries it's no surprise that Queen Elizabeth II had done her fair share of traveling over her 70-year reign. In fact, it's been said that she was probably the best-traveled monarch in history, having apparently visited at least 117 countries. She personally opened several major landmarks around the world, including the Sydney Opera House in Australia, the Beehive in New Zealand, and Euton Station in London, England, to name a few. Number 23. Her Numerous Hobbies the Queen was known to enjoy many hobbies, particularly those involving spending time outdoors. She took great pleasure walking in the countryside, pigeon racing, country driving, spending time with her dogs, and horseback riding well into her 90s. Queen Elizabeth was also an avid stamp collector and always took great pleasure in hosting garden parties at Buckingham Palace. Number 24. She loved football. The Queen was a big footy fan. It's thought that her favorite club might have been West Ham, Although since she was tight-lipped about her team to remain neutral, it's been reported that she could have been a fan of the team as far back as the 60s. She revealed her favorite player to be Michael Owen, because he looks so clean. Number 25. The Queen's Zoo Throughout her 70-year reign, Queen Elizabeth II had been gifted many animals. She was given a cow named Beauchamp Oxford Lady in 1957. In the 60s, she was gifted a couple of pygmy hippopotamuses from the President of Liberia, which she donated to the London Zoo. And Canada sent her a pair of beavers and an Arctic fox. Other animals the Queen was given over the years include a sloth, a pig, an elephant, a crocodile, four cockatoos, two wallabies, two jaguars, two giant tortoises, at least two kangaroos, and over a dozen different kinds of horses. If you can think of another reason why Queen Elizabeth II was so well-loved by the public, please let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow.